This is a video example about how to solve a horizontal projectile motion problem, and this is done as a review, so you're already familiar with kinematics and Newton's second law. So example number one. In a crazy stunt for a television show, America's Got Talent, a woman places a large cannon on top of a building 22 meters above the ground. When the woman is shot horizontally out of the cannon, she will land 15 meters along the ground from the front of the cannon. How fast was she moving when she left the cannon? So let's take a look at what we have and start by drawing a picture. Here's a woman being shot out of the cannon, just a free body diagram, kind of, just a dot. And this is the basic path it'll take. It says she was sh shot horizontally. So there's horizontal velocities, initial velocity. And where the woman is starting on top of the building, I'm going to call that x naught equal to zero. The woman's going to fall 22 meters, so I'll make it negative 22 since zero is above her, so going down, negative 22 meters, and going to the right, 15 meters. Now if I think about this a little bit more, I can look at the forces, because I know F equals MA, so wherever there's a force, there's an acceleration. Neglecting air resistance, as we always do with projectile motion, the only force acting on the woman once she leaves the building is going to be the force of gravity going down. So that means the only acceleration I'm going to have is a downward acceleration, but no acceleration horizontal. Horizontally, the speed will be the same. So here's my strategy for solving this problem. To begin with, I'm going to find the time in the air using vertical givens. And using that time, I'm going to find the initial velocity. Before I get into all this, let me organize the work by looking at what I have, just with a table. Because I have two accelerations, the first one is vertical, and the second one is zero, and that's horizontal. Because I have these two accelerations, I'm going to make two lists of givens. So I've got all my variables associated with kinematics, vox TVA, V-O-X TVA. A lot of my students a long time ago used the term vox TVA to remember this, so I'm going to go with vox TVA. So here's my list of givens, or what I'm looking for. So it's shot horizontally. If it's shot horizontally, that means it's not going up and down when she leaves the cannon, so vertically there's no initial velocity. It's all horizontal. Also, horizontally, there's no acceleration because I only have the force of gravity going vertically, so I'm going to put a zero down there for acceleration horizontally. Horizontally, I don't know the initial velocity, and that's what I'm looking for. Vertically, I know that she drops 22 meters, so that's negative 22 meters. And I also know that they're going to move horizontally 15 meters. So there's my 15 meters. Now, because gravity is going down, and I know that gravity is always going to accelerate or change its speed at the same rate of negative 9.8 meters per second squared, negative because it's going down. So that's one of my givens. Vertically, I know the acceleration is negative 9.8 meters per second squared. I know one more thing. Horizontally, the initial velocity and the final velocity would be the same because horizontally the acceleration is equal to zero. I can see that from the cell beneath what I just wrote. So that's great. Looks like I'm pretty much set. I need to find the time in the air using vertical given. So I'm only going to use the givens in the vertical column. Nothing from the horizontal, only the vertical column. Don't switch columns when you're solving this. So I find the time in the air using vertical givens. So that looks like if I have v naught x and a and I want t, I'm going to be using our long kinematics equation, x equals x naught plus v naught t plus 1 f a t squared. And on this equation, I know that x naught is equal to 0, and that's always going to be true for what we're doing, and v naught is also 0 according to the table, vertically. So that means they're going to go away, leaving me with the expression x is equal to 1 half a t squared. But since I'm talking about vertical motion, I'm going to make it a little more clear, and I'm going to replace the x with a y and the a with g. So y is equal to 1 half g t squared. Now I'll rearrange this to solve for t, and I got t is equal to the square root of the fraction 2y over g. I'm not going to put any numbers in yet. I'm going to use this expression in the next step. The next step, number two, says use the time in the air, which I have an expression for, to find v naught. So I'll use the same setup. Horizontally, I know v naught, x, and I know a, and I'm looking for t, so I'm going to use the same equation. And horizontally, x naught is still going to be 0. Horizontally, um, I know the acceleration is also going to be zero, because I look at the table and I see horizontally it's zero. So that's going to go away, leaving me with a simple equation, x is equal to v naught t. And that equation is always true for horizontal motion, x equal to v naught t for the horizontal motion. Now in the next step, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my t and I'm going to replace it with the expression. So I've solved it for v naught, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my expression for t and stick it in there. So now v naught is equal to x over t, which is equal to x over the square root of the fraction, 2y over g. 
Now I'm going to simplify this a little bit and put the fraction of the square root of 2y over g on the numerator. To do that, I'm going to have to inverse it, just the fraction. So x over 1, just kind of pull it out, and then I inverse the fraction so I can put it in the numerator. This just like, makes the math look a little bit easier. Now at this step, I can put in the numbers. So v0 is equal to 15 meters times the expression of the square root of 9.8 meters per second squared divided by 2 times negative 22 meters. And that 9.8, it's missing on the diagram, but it should be negative 9.8 meters per second squared. That way the negatives cancel out so I can find the square root of that number. And the final answer is going to be 8.57 meters per second. So the woman on America's Got Talent was shot out of the cannon at 8.57 meters per second.